One of the most sought after rappers in Cameroon and recently performed right here in Accra at Accra 2023, which ended on Saturday. It is Wednesday and he's still in town. You haven't had enough, have you? No, like, um, you know, it's very, very important to come to a beautiful land like, you know, Ghana and definitely, you know, take advantage of all the love you can get. Mm. So there's no need to be in a haste or in a rush. But unfortunately, um, the whole rush ends today. You're kidding. You know, because we have to go catch some, no you know. No way. It's your last day in town. Yes, so. Yeah, oh my yeah, goodness. Japan, you know. I see. Yeah, going to work, so yeah. I see. Beautiful. Congratulations on Thank Saturday you. Thank you so performing much. at the closing ceremony. Oh, wow. Were you there? I unfortunately no, but I watched on TV. Oh wow. Yes. And that was the first time I saw you perform perform. Oh, what and did I was I... like, this is good. Oh, what did I wear? Um there were so many colors on there. Was there a yellow in, in what you were wearing? Something like that. Oh. Right? I guess I, it was I... a cookie color. I, do, I don't remember, but there were so many <laughs> colors. You guys were giving us Super Bowl vibes and all that, but yeah. it was beautiful yeah. to watch. But w w what did that mean to you and for I you mean, that yeah, day? It's, it's just very wonderful. It's just very wonderful. Uh, I've been to Ghana twice. First time I came to shoot my music video with the uh, legendary Sarko mm. That was probably like eight years ago. Mm. Um, the second time we came for our free month. And now, you know, we're coming to perform in such a great event. You know, closing out such an institutional event is, is, is great. Like, there's a lot of artists on the continent, but when you're blessed, you know, being handpicked, you know, to definitely perform at, in such a platform, you know, it's, it's just a, a great blessing. And just the crowd, just the, the screams, I mean, the positivity, like, Bro, if you enter my heart, if you open my heart now, just Ghana, 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 Ghana you know, because... You've got so much love for us. We no, love you right back. Yeah, so no, thank you so much. You know, it's was, it was always been a great idea. So I'm happy I'm back and bigger and better, you know. So I just thank God and I just want to also thank Ghana for hosting such a great event. Mm. And uh, it had a lot of significance because the youth was represented and anywhere the youth is, re is represented, you know, it speaks to my soul. And... Uh, yeah, because we are the future and the future is now. Right. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And many people want to know what's that one thing that you so love about Ghana? Have you tried any of our meals yet? Of um, course you have. Oh yeah, of course. The, um, you know, uh, yesterday I did uh, this one soup. Which one? Uh, oh, crow? Uh, no. What soup? Light soup? Pum? 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 The palm, the palm, palm nut soup. Palm soup, yes. Yeah, palm the palm nut, nut soup. soup. Yeah. A ben coin, we call it. Yes. Reddish with some red oil. Yeah, right? that's really beautiful. What did you have it with? Uh, with um, I think with some fufu. Okay. I, 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 I think it's konkonte. Konkonte. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Wow. Like, yeah, yeah. You had konkonte near ben coin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah wow. Yeah, Is there anything similar to it in Cameroon? Um. Yes. This the cotton banga soup. Banga. Banga soup oh, because. Okay. You know, the palm nut and pigeon can come around pigeons in Banga. Uh -huh. You know, so, 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 yeah, so the palms is in Banga soup, okay. right? And uh, in Cote d'Ivoire, you have it as um, sauce grain. Okay. You know, so I was like, okay, the names are just very different. So it just, right. just made me think that, you know, we just have borders separating us, yeah. but we just want people, people. You know, so uh, it's the same things we eat, but different names. Mm. And you know, so for probably different times, but I was really happy. I also ate it with some rice, and yeah, I had some cashew nuts as well. So it's just really beautiful. Have you had just... an almighty jollof yet? Oh yeah, you know, yeah. How many times have you had? Oh, uh, I think just once, okay. just once, you know. But you know, since we, we eat rice every day, right. you know, I think it was very. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'm not going to ask the question. It's know, okay. I mean, no. I know once you've tasted it, that's that's it. We don't need to yeah. get it into the shenanigans. But yeah. let's go back to how all of this started for you. It was radio. Yeah. Is that what you studied in school? Is that what you wanted to do uh, all your life before music started? I've, I've started business journalism. Mm. You know, I have um, BSc in, in, in business journalism back in school. But to be honest, I just started with music, you know, but I went migrating from a small town called Bafusam, from Bafusam to Douala, which is like the capital, you know, like I couldn't just get 
there and just start, and just continue doing music because a lot of different people were really like taking a hold of the scene. So I had to go a little bit through media, sir first, you know what I mean? Then after God gave me the position to just hold the bull by the horns and just run with it. Oh, so you knew you were going to do music? Yes. So radio was just a route for you to take yes. to end up doing. Yeah, because because coming from a small city back then, mm -hmm. you wouldn't really have space to compete with the guys mm -hmm. that are the boy for towns, right, you know what I mean? So, right. yeah, so there I was were like... Some big shots, of course, when you were Yeah, that. so I just had to go there and serve them first. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then I'm happy that they're serving me now. Right. So if you say serve them, what do, what do, what do you mean? You were helping out in studio as well, still yes. recording. Yes. Tell us the journey. We, we want to know about No, it's going to be crazy. I mean, like, um, it's just simple. You know how we're in Accra, mm -hmm. then, you know, you can look down on somebody that stays in Tema. Yeah. Because you believe they are not in the city city. How do you know Accra so much? No, Jesus. Okay. I mean, we learn, you know. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we learn, you know, we read, you know. So, I'm you impressed. Know, you know, Ghana is a blessed, is a blessed ground. So, when you come here... If you come into the land of Kwame Nkrumah, you need to do some research. And every time I've come here, I feel I felt loved, like loved for real, like for real, for real, for real. The, I don't know if you guys even know your level of hospitality, like for real, for real. That we do. It's 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 inborn. Mm -hmm. So it's it's something you can't ignore. And if you acknowledge, you know, success starts with acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. If you acknowledge that you can be successful, it's gonna come and it's gonna last. If you know that the people are great, if you tap in, if before you tap into the people, mm -hmm. so into the people, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so just in general, you know, I, 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 if I have to come back to what yes. we were talking yeah. about yeah. as... Yeah. Starting off from radio. And yeah, so coming music. to Douala mm -hmm. and becoming, you know, there are already like a lot of legends out there. So probably, you know, you know with media, you can easily meet the guys you want to be like, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? And, uh... It happened that I also did media well, but I'm, you know, maybe I've, I think I've lost those skills, mm -hmm. you know, but... So you can't um, present anything on TV or I, radio anymore? I doubt. <laughs> I really doubt. Music is in your blood now, yeah, it's I, taking over you. Yeah, I really doubt. But to be honest, you know, it's just been a very, um, it's a great experience. This is going to be my 11th year in music, music. now. Wow. You know, with a lot of accolades, being the very first artist from Cameroon from winning an MTV African Music yeah. Awards and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But you know what? I, what drives me is just to keep going, cause I don't, th I don't want to sleep on whatever I've had. I just want to probably be focused on what I can have mm -hmm. and how do I represent my people. So grateful, young man, and uh, definitely trying as much as possible to be the African gentleman I'm supposed to be. Right. You, you featured a number of people in your 11 years of doing music. Of course, our own Sarkodie, who featured on your In Jama Jama. Did I get it right? Jama Jama What's Kao. the meaning of In Jama Jama? <laughs> Jama Jama basically is just... Uh, what's that about? What was that again? <laughs> uh? But it's Cameroonian language, no, right? No, basically, In Jama Jama uh -huh. literally is vegetable, oh. right? But In Jama Jama Kao is it's basically is a chant. It's just as a chant for okay. cows, you know, like mm. my mom went to the farm with her cow to go and eat grass. Right. So it's, it's, it's basically is it's, it's to say that we cannot sleep hungry, basically, you know, like man must chop belly for yeah, anyway. We have yeah. to eat. Yeah, so, so there's been Sarkodia, there's been Mr. Easy, there's been Two Baba. There's been our own fuse, ODG. There's yes, been Davido and all that. Commando. How are you able to collaborate with all these people, and what do these collaborations actually mean to you? No, I think it means a lot because you know it bridges the gap. You know, like for me, I just feel so Ghanaian right now. You know, because uh, you know um, I have a very the way I see it is just like, you know, you know, bridging, building those bridges, you can only do it via collaboration, you know, like, um, in as much as I'm feeling super happy here in Ghana, that's the same way I love every artist from Ghana to feel super happy and safe in Cameroon as well. So it's, it's, it's always been, you know, let's bring our forces together and, you know, for a greater Africa. Like for me, yeah. I'm very happy that the time when I went to the studio and did a song with Sark right. created a lot of attention for him in my area yeah. and vice versa so it, it's just very mm. important for us to keep going mm. and uh yeah man you know but i look forward to work 
uh, to working in the future with the younger generation, right. you know. Yeah, because, you know, I'm, I'm aging backwards as well, so, <laughs> so I think I just have to go and meet my peers. You know? Right, so you want to collaborate with the younger ones. But yeah. let's talk about the new one that's making waves everywhere, Take Over. Yeah. You're taking over where? Africa, the world over? Because Afrobeat is winning right now. What genre is Take Over? Uh, I'll call it Afro it? Energy. Afro Energy. Yeah. Oh, so that's, but unfortunately, this is all time would allow us. But you've performed here at Accra 2023, and I was telling you that when I was watching, it was giving me Super Bowl vibes. Where do we go from here, Snally? Are we doing the BETs, the Grammys? What's what's the what's the plan for you? I think that's um, that's the goal. You okay. know, we want to probably do the Mobiles, want to do the the BETs, the Grammys. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you guys also have like a couple of beautiful award shows here. Definitely, right. you know, would love to come back. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's just us doing God's work. All of those things are going to come in place. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think with hard work, humility and favor, grace, I think uh, we might even end up having what we didn't expect. Okay. Yeah, so uh, oh. I just want to let everybody know that, you know, it's everything is possible. Mm -hmm. It can happen mm -hmm. anytime. And uh, to God be our glory, you know, we're definitely heading to a destination that is bigger than what yeah, we think. Yeah, it's been amazing having you. Your outfit is beautiful. Thank by you the so way. much. You Sydney put this Davis. together yourself? Oh yeah, the styling, but this is uh, a design from the one and only Sydney Davis. All right. You know, so she is mm. as a beautiful African lady yeah, wow. based out of London. Good Just want to thank her, you know, for... You look crisp yeah. Thank you so morning. much, Mama. Congratulations you. on all that you have achieved. And thank we're wishing you, so you all much. the very best thank you so for the much. future. Thank you. See you, you too, you look soon. bang. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, thank you. All right, so that's all time would allow us here with Stanley Eno. But of course, three entertainments headed by Bella Mundi. I'm sure we will definitely do something with you before you finally say goodbye to Accra, Ghana.